Less is more. Part three of three. The content for this podcast comes from my book, Advanced Success Secrets. You get a free copy of each of my eight best-selling books at alexhammerbooks.com. That's A-L-E-X-H-A-M-M-E-R-B-O-O-K-S dot com. Less is more, part three of three. Less is less. Okay, so that is less is more. But this is what less is more is not. Less is more is not being lazy, nor taking shortcuts. A percentage of the people who think that they are working smart as opposed to working hard are, in point of fact, not working at all. Or not working hard enough to really matter. Working smart is critical and at times can even be more important than working hard. That is if you had to choose, which you don't. No matter how smart you work, how are you, how are you going to compete against someone who is working smart and working hard? If you are just working smart. Doesn't sound so smart after all. No, it doesn't. Less is more also doesn't mean a lack of innovation and just copying what other companies are doing is what works. Of course, there are exceptions. Microsoft, Dell, and many other companies have famously waited until technologies were mature before they implemented them as offerings with a new spin to make massive amounts of money. This can be a sound principle, as often the inventor of a breakthrough technology is, sadly enough, not the one who most profits from it. But when this copying of others occurs with a spin, the spin itself has to be an innovative expression of value to work. Going back to Dell, they didn't invent the computers they were selling, but they did invent, or more accurately perfect, the direct selling model of them, which made them rich. And the personalization which tied into their success. Getting back to Microsoft, yes, Windows was based upon acquired technology, but it was packaged in a way that was consumer-friendly and more available to the masses than it had been before. Less is more is also not I am going to keep you at an emotional distance so that you don't know if I really care about you, and as a result, you will always have to prove yourself to me to win my love. This works better on lower self-esteem individuals who already believe that they have something to prove. But for those with a good, parentheses, but healthy, sense of themselves, yes, a good challenge may be a turn on which gets the juices flowing, but if there's a lack of reciprocation, then this quickly gets old for a person with self-esteem. Such an individual respects oneself and understands one's value, so they are not going to settle for less. Less is more is not, I'm going to take shortcuts or cheat my way to the top. The world and other people are, one will quickly find out, much too sophisticated for that. Much too sophisticated for that. Life may not be 100% fair at all times, but the cream does tend to rise to the top. In The Laws and Secrets of Success, note to podcast, that's my prequel to Advanced Success Secrets. We examined that, quote, talent may take one to the top, but only character keeps one there, end of quote. Those with, that ba- those with bad character, no matter their level of talent, tend to invariably waylay themselves along the way. It is practically inevitable. It referred to as a tragic flaw. Character is destiny, as we discussed. Those with less talent can make up for it through perseverance, honesty, good relationships, reputation, and the like. Because of the law of karma, when we seek to shortchange others, we invariably wind up shortchanging ourselves, because that is the energy we are putting out there. We attract others who wish to shortchange us and repel those who are honest and expect a fair deal. Parentheses, and would gladly pay for the same. In short, we can say that those who work to outsmart others learn over time if they get tired of beaten by life over the head, these methods rarely lead to out these these methods merely lead to outsmarting oneself. Less is not more in this circumstance. Less is less.